Hey guys, Booligan here. Uh, you may recall we put together this lower receivable, lower AR receiver for a uh, rifle build that I'm doing. Now let's put a stock on it. The stock that I decided to go with for this is the MOE fixed carbine stock. You can go with a nice adjustable stock, but I wanted something simple, lightweight, and cheap. And this checks all those boxes. This slides on to either a mil spec or a commercial spec buffer tube, depending on the one that you purchase. It comes with two of these little adapters, depending on whether you're running a just a flat rear receiver here, or if you're running like an ASAP plate or a quick detach, you can use that one to give it a little bit of room to function. We're using this guy. This is gonna be the easiest install video in the history of install videos. Slide that in place. Take this, slide that in place, take this screw that it comes with, screw that in place, no need to over tighten it, just get that good and snug, you can use either a flat head or an appropriately sized hex bit, which I think I even have. I love my little ICS uh, tool here. Get that a little tightened up. And you are in business. This thing is rock solid. That is the understatement of the day. There is zero flex, zero play, zero rotation in that. It is lightweight, weighs about nine ounces, and is about 22 bucks when you find it on sale. 22 bucks. If the length of pull is too short, the length of pull is about 12 and a half inches, from there to there. If that's too short for you, you can get PRS buffer tube, or excuse me, PRS stock pad extensions to add another about half inch, three quarter inch length of pull. But for me, this is perfect. Exactly the fit that I'm going for, exactly the low weight that I'm going for, and it fits my build budget absolutely perfectly. Only one thing left to do with this, and that's get an upper on there. So stay tuned for that coming very, very soon. Thanks for watching.